A few weeks ago, we did a video about gallstones, and in that video I mentioned that women are much more likely to develop gallstones as a result of their hormones and the way those hormones affect the female body as opposed to the male hormones and the way they affect the body. Interestingly, so women have it rough when it comes to gallstones. What about with kidney stones? It's the other way around. It's men's turn to suffer with kidney stones. So men are much more likely to develop kidney stones. Now with women, it was a hormonal thing. With men, it's, it hasn't been clearly established why men are more likely to develop kidney stones. Now, what can be helpful here? Um, aloe vera gel is a really important one to mention. There's a South American herb called chanca piedra. Uh, this literally means stone breaker. Um, and if you have a lot of kidney stones, it's not something you wanna jump right into because it can break them up too much too quickly and, and get you into a dangerous situation. But uh, it, so it's almost like in certain situations too effective for its own good, but done early on uh, can be something much more safe and, and worth considering. Also, uh, nutritionally, having good levels of magnesium and B vitamins, uh, these can help reduce calcium and oxalates from accumulating, which is really getting to the source of the problem. So you wanna definitely avoid calcium supplements. Those are not doing you any good no matter what, and they're really gonna be doing you harm in a situation like this. And also trying to have too many foods that are gonna be high in oxalic acid. Apple cider vinegar is another one worth mentioning because the main compound in there is called acetic acid. And I'll put a link to another video we've done all about apple cider vinegar. Uh, and it contains a hilarious story from Ana Blanca, by the way, so you should go check that out. Um, but with acetic acid, this is able to help dissolve the kidney stones. And just general lifestyle-wise, you want to keep an active lifestyle and, and be exercising. Um, and watch out for the possibility of thyroid disorder. Um, if you have a thyroid disorder, it can potentially cause the thyroid to produce too much parathyroid hormone. And this can raise calcium levels, which can domino effect leading to kidney stones. And one other thing to watch out for supplementarily is you want to keep your vitamin C consumption below three grams a day. Overdoing vitamin C can actually potentially become problematic here. So just keep it below three grams a day and you can still get great immunological benefits at that below three grams a day level. Um, so you can have the joys of vitamin C and you don't have to have any negative effects if you don't go overboard in the vitamin C department. Mm -hmm.